Making a video game is hard, and sometimes it can feel nearly impossible. But I believe in you, and I think you will be able to make that game. Hey there, I'm Aaron Miston, and in this video, I'm sharing my top three game dev tips that you can use regardless of the engine you're working with. Now, I'm by no means an expert, but these lessons are what helped me transform from being a serial game prototyper to actually releasing my first commercial game, Chess Survivors. When it comes to game development, having a plan is crucial. As you embark on your game making journey, start with a loose plan that outlines your vision for the game, but maybe more importantly, include your own goals for the game. For me, my main goal was to release a game on Steam, and my vision for Chess Survivors was to make an action-based roguelike with an ever-growing horde of chess-based enemies. As I started working on the proof of concept, I ended up making a turn-based game, trying to really lean into the chess-based theme. This made the game feel a bit too puzzly instead of action based. So this is when I learned the first tip. It's important to have a plan, but you need to be flexible with it. I ended up pivoting and changing chess survivors to having quick turns by adding a turn timer. This really pushed the game's pace to align with my overall vision of an action game. So if something doesn't feel like it fits your vision, throw it out, change it. Just because you plan to have a certain mechanic or system doesn't mean you need to keep it. Remember, game development is a dynamic process and things will change throughout your journey. One of the biggest hurdles in game development is overthinking. We tend to get caught up in the endless planning, analyzing, and worrying about every little detail. But here's the truth. The best way to make progress is to stop thinking and simply start doing. Which I admit is easier said than done, but that is why it's my second tip. Stop thinking about it and just dive in. After adding turn timers to chess survivors, the game loop felt clunky and frankly, just bad. I kept trying to redesign it again and again, drawing out all these different ideas until I finally said, screw it. I started experimenting right in the core game loops code. To my surprise, the change ended up being so simple. Once the player clicks on a movement tile, immediately end the player's turn and move on to the enemy's turn. Looking back, it seems so obvious that this was the correct design, but hindsight is 2020. By taking Taking action, you'll gain invaluable experience and insights that you simply can't acquire through planning alone. Really try and learn from your successes and maybe more importantly, learn from your failures. When developing your game, it's easy to get caught up trying to make that perfect system. You know, the one that will cover every use case, be easily extendable, and never need to be touched again? Well, striving for such perfection can actually be a big waste of time. Which brings me to my third tip. Make your game good enough for now. By adopting a mindset of good enough, you allow yourself to reach important milestones and gather feedback from players sooner. This feedback is invaluable to shaping your game's future iterations, and that perfect system you spent months making might become irrelevant if and when you eventually pivot your game. For the turn timer in Chess Survivors, I ended up making one global process to handle the timer. Frankly, I'm a little embarrassed by how simple it is for being such an important system in my game. I didn't add any error handling, test cases, or guardrails, but I still fully understand how it works, and so far, it stood the test of time. It's still just good enough. Remember, you can always improve and refine your game as it matures, and at that point, you can refactor those core systems Systems, or maybe they'll still just be good enough. Making a game is a journey, and frankly, it can feel like a roller coaster ride of emotions. Try to focus on making sustainable long term progress instead of short term gains. If you're anything like me, you'll fall in love with a journey, and before you know it, you'll be getting ready to release your game. I've been Aramis. Thanks for watching.